but this this tendency to go as i say for for uh, things like let's police speech is just such a typically modern british thing there's no evidence that there was anything to do with an online harms issue it's just it's what the british police and political class think they can always come down on always come down on speech always talk about the terrible internet always talk about the terrible freedom of expression that people are exercising i think it's a demonstration of their own failure to deal with primary issues and their own sort of eunuch like status on so many things why is it that instead of addressing the real issues, governments and politicians seem to focus on policing speech and targeting those who speak out? In this video, Douglas Murray tackles the disturbing trend in the UK, where the political and media class consistently avoid addressing critical problems like joblessness, mass migration and inflation, and instead divert attention by cracking down on free speech and vilifying those who challenge their failures. Murray argues that instead of targeting free expression, governments should focus on tangible solutions, like securing borders and managing the economy, to truly address the concerns of their citizens. Uh, but what they did was they continued to raise money about it, continued to scare people about it, and, and moved the barrier of where far right should be said to be just further and further, closer and closer into the political mainstream. So that, for instance, these groups started to campaign against UKIP, against Nigel Farage, against the Brexit Party, against reform. And then, of course, against individual Conservative MPs. No way to express um, anger, a frustration or anything else without being deemed to be far right. I think this is a big mistake that the political class and the media in the UK have made. And the media who've been willing to suck up to that should realise that all these people have very dubious histories themselves. They will come for whoever is in their way and make these charges against them. They are totally unscrupulous. They're, they are uh, tin can waving money raisers and uh, total frauds. And I wish more people called that out. When uh, obviously there is no place for the violence. What if you you are anti the violence, but you desperately want to make your voice heard in some way? Are you allowed to even protest in the UK anymore? Well, you know, I wrote in my column last week, I, I, you know, it's just so sad what has been done to our country uh, by Labour and by the Conservatives and by the Liberal Democrats. It is so sad. Look at the, the hopelessness that comes from joblessness. Everybody knows that. Everybody. This isn't a left-right issue. It's, it's, it, it, it is, you, you are living a hopeless life if you have no employment and have no means of employment, no, no likelihood of employment. And if you go through the stats, the unemployment stats for the areas of the North of England that we've all been reading about in recent weeks, these are areas where joblessness has increased among the native population over the last 13 years. Increased. These are areas where, to the extent that there has been any improvement in jobs and job availability, three quarters of those jobs have gone to foreign born workers. Now, this used to be, by the way, a left wing issue as well. The left wing trade unions used to be against the mass migration because they recognized that it pushed down the, the salaries of labor in the country. Well, when did you last hear any labor politician representing any of these areas talking about that? They don't dare. They just leave these people behind. They actually abandon them. And they do nothing to improve their, their lives. And then on top of everything else, because of a few numbskulls who do reprehensible things and rioting, you're also far right if you, just, if you just have a concern in these areas. I think it's appalling the lack of, of just basic human empathy with people in these places. Uh, and Westminster seems to have no empathy for these people and and having abandoned them and ignored them. Um, it's pathetic. Again, these people they have no interest in the primary problems, but they'll oh, they'll come down on their tough on Elon Musk, tough on the causes of Elon Musk. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, I've had a bit of it. It's water off a duck's back, of course, but a few sort of rampaging online lunatics like Alistair Campbell. Um, have tried to say that I should be in trouble because I predicted all this yes. and have yes. said so. And uh, that's that's uh, pretty remarkable, actually. Of course, as Thomas Sowell famously said, you know, people will forgive you for being wrong, but they'll never forgive you for being right. 
And uh, I was right on mass migration and integration, and Alistair Campbell was flat out wrong. Uh, he was part of the Labour government that put massive boosters under the legal and Im illegal immigration into the UK in the late 90s and early 2000s. He was part of the Blair government that did that. It's quite extraordinary to see somebody like him who, who caused these challenges and problems to our country, <laughs> trying to crack down on the people who noticed it. Um, really, uh, I mean, if he wasn't such a sick individual, it would be funny. If you want to solve some of the problems that America is going through, um, you stop the movement of millions of illegal migrants into the U US across the southern border. If you want to uh, um, address the real problems going on in the US, you do that, you address the economy, you tackle inflation. Same thing in the UK. If you want to solve the problems in the UK, you stop having historically high net legal and illegal migration you grow the economy you tackle inflation you make sure that the money in people's wallets uh, goes further than it is at the moment um these are not impossible challenges the borders are not an impossible challenge at all straightforward we used to have borders we used to have them um and so some of these ones are not that difficult. Some are relatively difficult. Inflation is relatively difficult to get under control, but you can. Um, we could have a sensible energy policy, for instance, in the US and UK. That would do an enormous amount uh, to bring down the inflation. Uh, but these things are harder. All of them are harder than saying, ah, Twitter, X, Elon Musk. Th 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 it's just, and we shouldn't allow the politicians to get away with that. I just don't think we should. We shouldn't allow them to get away with continuously diverting us from their failure to tackle the things we have tasked them with tackling. You could you could silence every single person in Hartlepool. You could ban anyone in Southport from being allowed to use social media. And you still wouldn't have stopped the boats coming over every day of smuggling gangs bringing in illegal into the UK who should not be there and have no right to be there. Uh, you, 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 you know, th th these people, these people in charge are so dishonest to keep on tackling not their own, the sources of their own failure, but other people's objection to that failure. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content.